Doing some greens powder? I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to buy me. Tell everyone that you love playing in the puddles. My patience is already wearing pretty thin. Why did you just pee on the floor? vlog coming into my bathroom because it's a bit quieter in here i feel like i firstly have to say if you haven't watched my vlog that i posted last week i'll have a link down below it is the vlog where i got my puppy last night was my first night with winston and it was hectic like it was a lot <laughs> my patience is already wearing pretty thin but he is obviously so so worth it it was his first night away from all of his siblings so it was bound to be a little bit hard for him so he was up every two hours to pee and then cuddle with me and then back to bed he just didn't really like being alone which is obviously fair enough but that just meant that i got maybe like four or five hours of sleep which obviously isn't ideal but equally it's the first night you can only get better from here right <laughs> But it is currently 10.30 and I've had breakfast, Winston had breakfast, and then he's just been chilling with me in my office. I needed to shower, get ready because I'm about to head out and he was sleeping. So I've just left him asleep in my office and he hasn't woken up and like come to find me, which is very shocking, but also very good. <laughs> we don't have any coffee beans and I just did an online Coles order to be delivered this afternoon, but I don't have coffee beans until then. And as I said, five hours of sleep. So I'm going to need a coffee. So I'm going to get Winston, put him in his car out and we're going to go through this drive drive through and just grab a coffee and then Soph is coming over today to meet him and just have a little bit of a play date and then we'll probably have dinner together and then she'll head home so that's pretty much the plan for today I've been trying to edit so much this morning because the vlog that I filmed yesterday I need to post tonight so I might have to do a little bit of editing while Soph is here but she can just tire Winston out while I work let's go into the office and see how he's doing <gasps> hello I hate my dog mum boys I'm so sorry but like I'm not gonna stop <laughs> oh you love chewing my finger don't you good great that's really good for me i put on this little harness on him just so that he gets used to wearing it he can't go outside on a walk until eight weeks time because he needs to get his third vax but i wanted him to get comfy wearing a harness so that it wasn't a big deal when he did have to wear it and he looks so handsome in it look at you you're just a wiggly little worm aren't you should we go through the giraffe's drive through <laughs> you are so cute i actually can't handle it Could I please grab a Maasai iced latte with sugar-free caramel syrup? Look at this look. Hey buddy, are you being so good in your carrier? It's the sleepy eyes for me. So it's currently on the couch, just being a proud auntie. You should have sleeping in front of her, being the cutest little man ever. But I just got a couple of packages, one for me, one for Winston. I actually wasn't expecting this, so this is from Naked Harvest. Oh wow. Hey lovely, we're so excited to launch our shakers. Can't wait to see this in your upcoming content. Isn't that? Yeah, it really is. They've really nailed that. Oh, that is the prettiest shape I've ever seen. Right? Color. Yeah, that's funny. We'll migrate to the lounge room to show you the next package. Hey, buddy. <laughs> wow. <on>. <laughs> he looks so long. Dude. <laughs> oh, that was easy to get out. This is for you. Wow. Thursday. 
this little one just woke up from a nap. He was also so good and only woke up once last night. He woke up, got out of his bed and walked over and just fell asleep on the floor right next to my bed. So I got up and I moved his bed closer to mine and then he fell right asleep. He did wake up at 5.30 this morning, just like ready to go, ready to play. So I also did and we got a huge storm this morning. Anyway, that's enough of the dog updates for now. Winston, he was just chewing his food bowl, like the hard china bowl, just chewing it. Anyway, I'm in the kitchen because I'm about to make myself a glass of greens powder. This is the one I'm using from Naked Harvest. It's like gorgeous greens in mango magic. I'm going to be honest, I don't drink greens powder, but I am so aware that I definitely don't eat enough vegetables. So obviously a greens powder is a perfect way to get an extra serve of veggies in. This says one scoop is equivalent to one serve of veggies. Hey, I'm making some greens powder. Is that okay? So I've just done two scoops of that and I saw someone say that to make their greens powder a little bit sweeter they also chuck in some pine collagen and I've used this for so long it tastes so good healthy hair skin nails and joints plus a good source of vitamin C and zinc for your inner and outer beauty needs so I'll pop one scoop of that in as well so it's like a mango pine coconut fruity beverage for the afternoon I can honestly mainly taste the pine collagen with like a hint of mango. It's actually really refreshing. That color just makes you feel healthy, doesn't it? I just feel like a health queen drinking this, getting some veggies in, getting some collagen in. Phenomenal, honestly. If you wanted to pick yourself up any greens powder, collagen, anything from Naked Harvest, I'll leave the link to their website down below along with my discount code, which is LOVEGR. That saves you 15% off site-wide, excluding bundles. Now that he's woken up from his nap, he needs a bit of a play. So I'm going to run around my house with him because you're a little rascal. Hey, do you want some greens powder? I'm just kidding. Anyway, I'm going to drink this while I play with him a little bit, try and tucker him out. And then Rachel's coming over and she's helping me run a couple of errands because I can't leave this little man alone. So you're going to come in the car with us, hey? Just a couple of errands I need to run, but that's the plan for this afternoon. Afternoon. What was that? <laughs> you silly sausage. I'm obviously the star of this channel. Drunk Elephant is serious skincare that doesn't take itself too seriously. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That is so cute and really big. I feel like I have to redo my whole skincare routine now. Yeah. There's like everything here. That's really stunning. Cute. That's so cute. Oh. Fun. They're so fun. This is such a nice little carrier. That's so fun. Thank you so much, Drunk Elephant. I also got a big package from Gymshark with a bunch of new releases for March in it. We loves this bag. Oh, thank you. There's new Adapt Animal coming in this new colorway. I think it's called Adapt Animal. I could be wrong. Some little squiggly little black shorts and this yellowy greeny color. I'm actually really excited about these tanks because I didn't get any the last time they launched new colors. And I just think they're so cute. A little bit more coverage than a sports bra would give. Comes with the removable padding. And the back is the same cut as the sports bra, which I just think is so cute. I love their black with a little bit of a pattern. Staples, I would say. Kind of the same vibe as the crop I just showed, but they have have a little zip down the front and I just feel like it's kind of a vibe. I'll have to see how it looks on but kind of vibey. I actually haven't tried. <laughs> oh come on in. Dark green with light green specks through it. These sports bras are our favorite. <laughs> I just love the fit, the shape, the style, the support. They're my absolute favorite. So that's what the leggings look like. Wow, very stretchy. I actually don't have anything from the Adapt Flick range. So I'm very excited to give these a go. How fun. And then I think this is the last color in the collection. It's like a, a white, beige, creamy color. I feel like it's fairly close to my skin tone, but will probably be doable. <laughs> Can I show you? Rachel's just on auntie duties, so he's not running a mark. Like but why is it working? <laughs> that was a big haul. I need a nap. Anyway, that's all.
friends happy saturday it's been a little bit since i picked up my camera honestly <laughs> having a puppy is so hectic and so intense and definitely a lot more work than i expected i knew it was going to be hard and like the first little while is very testing and lots of training and stuff but it's just so much work it's just like sleepless nights and just constantly being on and like working your schedule around the dogs is kind of hard he's meant to be in bed right now and he's just running around my room anyway i just feel like all of my time has been spent looking after him and when he's sleeping me trying to get stuff done it's just hard because he always wants to be around me and he's always like walking between my feet and anywhere i am he is and it just makes getting things done a little bit harder i'm so used to just like being productive when i want working when i want doing things my own time and now i have to be productive when he's sleeping and when he's playful i have to stop work and play with him i've actually had so many people dm me telling me to keep persevering with this puppy phase and people just being so lovely and encouraging saying like it is so hard all of your feelings are valid so many people were saying that when they got their dog they were like oh my gosh what have we done like was this a mistake it's so hard i don't know what i'm doing like what have i done and so many people just like reassuring me which just feels really really nice i love that the internet can just bring so many positive people together it just really really means a lot but honestly i'm just struggling a little bit do you want to tell everyone what you're doing down there that bed was here because he likes to sleep right next to me the first night that I had him, I had him sleep in his crate. And I don't know if it was because it was the first night that I had him or if it was the crate itself, but he was up every two hours, so whiny, wanted so much attention. And then the second night I tried to just have the bed next to my bed and him sleep in that. And he woke up a couple of times, but nowhere near the amount that he did the first night. And so I've just kind of stuck with the bed on the floor next to my bed for now. But I have had so many people tell me to really persevere with crate training. So I think I'm going to try and buy a big mess metal crate like not a material crate carrier vibe like a big crate so he has heaps of room he can have heaps of blankets pillows beds toys whatever he needs in there so he can see me at night just so he has his own like safe space and like if he's ever sad when i'm not home he can just go to his crate everyone's saying that crate training is so much work but it's so worth it so i'll have to see how i go but for now obviously him sleeping in his bed isn't working because now when it's time to go to bed he's running around like a madman it's time for bed he just got out of bed. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you for listening to my little dog ramble. I know so many people probably aren't interested, but it's just a lot. And knowing that I'm not alone and like other dog owners have felt like this before. Why did you just pee on the floor? I'm going to bed. I'm cleaning up this pee and I'm going to bed. Sorry. Good night. <laughs> bit of a morning if I'm being honest. It's currently 2.40 and Grace and I just finished a session at the gym. I haven't gone and trained since this week so I didn't train Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday but we managed to fit in a session today just because I can't leave Winnie alone. I haven't really been able to get out of the house for a long period of time but I actually went to puppy school this morning which was really really weird. I signed up to do the pet barn puppy school. It's five sessions over five weeks. This week was just like an introduction class. We didn't bring the dogs. We just sat and like chatted. She gave us some like tips and tricks and stuff. Next week we bring the dogs and she's gonna help train them up. It's already so hard but I am really determined to try my best with training Winston. So so difficult and a lot of things she told me this morning I didn't know and I will now be implementing. She gave us a little bit of homework to do. It was super interesting. A very weird environment like I felt like I was kind of back at school. A little bit uncomfy like she was giving us scenarios and then like picking random people in the group to answer the questions and I was like whoa like my introverted self hated it but I know that it's in Winnie and I's best interest to train him well so did that this morning at 10 and I had my brother Bryce and his fiance 
house come over and babysit Winston. They're just absolute legends. And then I took Winston over to Rachel's house and that's where he is now while I went to the gym because Rachel's close by. So that's been my day so far. Grace is off to get a subway for lunch. I'm off to pick up Winnie and then we're both going to my house, having lunch, chilling with Winnie. And that's pretty much all that we're getting up to today. I'll probably do a little bit of editing. Grace has a little bit of computer work to do. But yeah, just chilling out for the rest of our Sunday afternoon. I can't believe it's Sunday. Like this week has gone so slow, but equally so incredibly fast. <laughs> I feel like I've had no time for myself and to get anything of mine done. So maybe even while Grace is over, she can play with Winston and I can just do some work and like housework and stuff. I'm so out of breath. Grace and I trained legs, we did quads and it was so, so rough. And then we finished with the Stairmaster. We're trying to finish every session with five minutes on the Stairmaster and slowly just like increase it. We wanted to finish our session with Sissy Squats today, but we couldn't find the machine. So we just decided to do seven minutes on the Stairmaster instead. And it was so brutal. Like it was so hard. My heart rate was constantly 196. <laughs> But I didn't stop. I was consistently on level 8. And then for the last minute, I did level 10, which is, like, not crazy impressive. But I'm just proud of myself for not stopping or, like, taking my levels down because I was tired. So, very proud of myself. Very hot and sweaty. I haven't worn my Apple Watch all week either, so that's weird. Total cows was 905, which is just hectic. But, yeah, max heart rate 196. We truly hate to see it. But I'm going to go pick up Winston and eat some food because I'm starving. Tell everyone how you love playing in the puddles. Come here. Mm. And just like that, he's all tucked in. 